Yeah. Big toast from the West Coast, man. You already know. You already know. You I'll already see. know. Orange County, what up? I'm in the building. What's happening? What up, man? So I'm, I'm glad. Thank you for coming down, man. I'm glad to have you on, brother. Thanks, man. I it's, appreciate that, man. It's, it's a pleasure. Yeah, it's Thank good you. to see a Latino coming up, man, and, and doing what you've done so far. You made a lot of progress. Yes, yes. I think, you know, you, you put in the work, and, you know, I, I believe your work shows for itself. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. And uh, so you got a, a bunch of uh, YouTube videos that are getting a, a lot of views, and that's kind of, you know, how I reached out to you. I said, you right. know what, man? This this I got to have them on because – I, I think they're hilarious, man. I think you, you, I man. think the yeah, interaction, yeah. dude. Yeah, I, I, I believe that, you know. I'm 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 a I'm a you know my own worst critic, bro. So yeah, you know, I, it's it's hard for me sometimes to even like my own stuff, man. So, but I mean, <clears throat> from the feedback and the reaction that people have, you know, thrown at us, you know, it's all positivity, it's all love. Yeah, you know, it 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 it's it's a wonderful thing, man. It's a blessing. So I even believe myself that freaking hilarious man yeah they you are i mean I, i've never seen myself in that light like that I, i'm sure that when you're filming it like the chemistry just comes like naturally because a it, lot of times it does when, yeah like when you're with your friends you're having a good time and things just come out and you probably don't realize it at the time right but when they play give you the playback you're like that was funny man and you know we did we did everything so smoothly man everything just went well the way it did it i feel like you know it's almost divine as to how this thing came together but you know, it's, a lot of people think it's scripted, but, right. it's, it, it, you know, there's some times where, you know, you'll notice it's like, oh, these fools are improv on it. Right, right. You know what I mean? That's why we cut, you know, there's a lot of BS on there that, that you know, gets cut out. So we choose, you know, we get the funniest parts and whatnot. And uh, now me, you know, it's, all, it's all improvisational. Me, me Too shoots that, right? That's the name of the production company? Yeah, we started off shooting off with Me Too, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, me Too, Me Too, you know. And uh, they, We are it, Me Too. Uh, we are happening? Okay, and and they can find those videos if they just type in uh, Cholos Try. Cholos Try, dog. Hashtag, hashtag, you know what I'm saying? Cholos Try or just, yeah, you know, that's that's the main search, you know what I mean? And Cholos then try. um, and then what were you doing before Cholos Try? Um, I've always been doing my thing, man, as far as the music is, is concerned in yeah. my life. I'm very musically inclined, so uh, before that I was doing my music, man. But, you know, it's... Not not just that I I kind of stumbled into the acting game. Really, you know, I, it, it's hard for me to explain. I wouldn't say stumble, man, because I've done you know some plays back in high school. Yeah, you so you're always I mean? on the grind. Yeah, and I shot on Intocables video back in high school, so that was my only time I did extra stuff, and you know that's when I picked up. Act, I, I guess you can say I picked up the acting bug, but after high school I just didn't pursue the acting gig like that you know what I mean it was my music thing and then after a minute I just came across somebody that told me what's up you know showed me the ropes and hey you know you got to go here you got to go here and then I just started hitting up the sets man and then doing and you, background work and you know what I think is cool bro in all honesty man because I I know how it is for, for people to pigeonhole like cholos or chicanos into one thing but there's a lot of talented Chicano brothers out there that are doing their thing, man. Like I had a, a lot. Yeah. 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 I had a few, like, I know, um, we're very I underrated. I would say. Yeah. And, and, yeah. and that's being real, bro. Like we are, but we're so, but people don't realize we're just as talented as everybody else. Just society looks at us different. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, I have a lot of friends, like, uh, I have a, a couple actors, uh, Wilson, Antonio Ramirez, yeah, uh, yeah, and, Anthony yeah. Citric Campos. Yeah, yeah, homies are all homies are mine, man. Yeah, yeah so yeah. we have the same homies, probably. Yeah, yeah, mutual homies. Yeah. Uh, Ronan Gray. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and and those guys are doing little acting gigs, and they're you know get, paving their way into the industry. Right. You know what I mean? So right. it makes me proud to know that like people, it's like a, a diamond in the dirt, man. They're they're just coming out of East LA. They're coming out of Compton. They're coming out of Watts, right. and they're getting these acting gigs in these million dollar films. Yeah, yeah. And like that's the same story with you, bro. You were making music before. Yeah. And now you're doing the Cholos Try thing, yeah, which yeah. is gaining a lot of traction, man. So yeah. so props to you, brother. Oh, thank you, brother. Th I that, appreciate that. Gracias. That, yeah, that's that's really dope, thank man. You, thank you. And so thank you. Is there something like is was there ever a situation on Cholos Try where like you know you were like, nah, I'm not doing this, man. Nah, you know, I I never really ranked it out on anything, bro. <laughs> yeah, I was always with it, man. You know, I, I'm, you know, you, you're grown into this mentality, bro, in the neighborhood where they want you to get stuck. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, when one opens up their minds and you know you're open to new things, it's like, man, you want to try it. You, yeah. you get, 
you're adventurous. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. As, as opposed to nah, I'm good. You know, now nah, I don't think there was ever one thing, man, that uh, you know, anything has been presented to me as far as like you know, with this whole Cholo Strike thing, that's been like, oh, well, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I would say the the feet massage, but. <laughs> but other than that i just you know i have a thing with that i mean i would say that's the only thing yeah man there's there's a there's times where people are like dude you know you shouldn't be going into a, a manicure place or a pit but all you're really doing is cleaning your feet man at the yeah. end of the day you know what i mean but, yeah I, i'm like I, I got that that kevin hart thing man i don't know if you guys follow him or you know yeah i know, you know i follow kevin you know he has an insecurity about his feet oh does he yeah you know what i'm saying he'll yeah. say it, he'll say it on a stand-up and, and i'm like oh damn <laughs> so i'm like hold yeah. on dog like i just you know yeah i don't even like nah i don't, I don't. so that's that kind of you know now that prevented me from that that's kind of the same thing with chicks though right like the first thing that a dude looks at when he's looking at hyenas or girls or whatever you look at their feet bro like you know some of them look like you know a shed a painted shed you know what i mean like you, you gotta you gotta do you gotta take care of your feet for it up yeah, match yeah. it up yeah, it's part like of some claws you know, <laughs> you know? seriously dude like like that's like a sales pitch bro if the, if the toes aren't yeah. right dude i'm not moving to step number two you know you start at the toes man my boy that's like that's like buying a vehicle man you know what i'm saying like you know yeah. you're, gonna, you're gonna buy a used car with you know you got it's a little carcanchita, I got dance or whatever, you know, the engine. You know, it's like, you know, like a car, man. You yeah. want to get you a nice, clean car. You want to hook it up here and there, you know what I mean? So you bro, I, th that. I think chicks, bro, tell, tell, we, we got to invent something together. But I think chicks should come with like a Carfax. You know what I mean? Like, bro, how many how many bruised toenails you got right there? Oh, you know, man, if only it was possible, man. And I wouldn't doubt y'all, man. I wouldn't doubt y'all that somebody's gonna pop out with that real soon. Seriously, like a really? human human Carfax, dude. How many guys have you dated? You know, they're lying to me, man. Three guys. It's like J. Cole says, man. You know, she says she dated about two, three, or four, or five dudes. You know, you gotta <laughs> multiply that by three. You know, Damn. seriously, yes. man. You never know. I'm sure yeah, you meet man. a lot of chicks, dude, on the road with the Cholas Tri thing. Well, you know. Uh, yes, I would say yes and no, man. Just to keep it truthfully honest, you know, yeah. I try to. I, I'm very exclusive, bro. You know what I mean? Oh, so, okay. Oh, so, I'm, yeah. No disrespect to the old lady, man. No, no, no. I didn't even like that. It's just that you know, uh, whenever I go out to these events or whatnot, you yeah. Know, when we're all out there or whatever, yeah, you know, we we do get people hitting us up like, hey, what's up? We love what y'all do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Can yeah. we take a picture? Can we get an autograph? And and you know, we we don't want to disappoint. So yeah. You know what I mean? We don't want to disappoint our fans, so you know we show all the love back. You know. You ever see like those videos on the internet with like uh, Ti or something, and in the, in the, and they're just like they got these fans. Like there's one recently. I don't know if you guys seen this one Jeez, where like bro. some guy was like leaning on his hood. It was a fan. Yeah, yeah. And he got pissed off at him, bro. He's like, "Get away from me! I don't want to sign your autograph." And, what was that Ti? Ti? Like, didn't, didn't he get that? locked up recently or something? Something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Something about that. Yeah. 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 I, I didn't know that was Ti. Yeah. 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 So he, he was, was pumping gas. And some dude was like, hey, let me get a picture. And he's like, nah, homie. Like, he's like, I, I gave you the picture. Like, get off my car. And I was just like, wow, dude. Like, yeah. from a fan's perspective, that's that like would, would crush me if I was a fan of TI. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't know yeah. if I'd like him after that, honestly. Yeah. Well, you gotta, you gotta, you know, there's always two sides to a story, man. True. It's, it's always a double-edged sword when you're in that position, bro. Yeah. You know, so I, you know, the, the fan could have been a crazy, you know, little lunatic that just happened to know who's TI and you know what I'm saying? It's just one of those, dog, you know? And, and, and they only got three seconds of it, so all we see is those three seconds. That's you know true, what I'm man. Saying? You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I haven't personally seen the video, but I would just think that, you know, in that position, if somebody's leaning up against yeah. even me, bro, I got, you know what I'm saying? Whatever I'm rolling on, and from yeah, point you, A to point B, if you're leaning on my, on, my, my, on my car or whatever, and, like, I'm like, I don't know you. Like, what's up? Man? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, You might yeah. catch you wrong. Yeah, hey, you know, hey, can I get a picture? Like, how you going to lean on my car and be like, hey, can I get a picture? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, hey. Yeah, you might end up with some, like, elbow dents or something. Yeah, we could chunk yeah. up the deuces, throw up the dub, worldwide, you know what yeah. I'm mean? saying? And, and then, you know, go with that. You know, don't put my vehicle out there like that or, you know. Yeah, man. You know, don't. There's a certain bubble, bro. Yeah. You know like a saying? five five foot bubble dude yeah like you got five feet to take a picture anything closer you either have to buy me dinner or no i was kidding yeah bro you yeah. know i'm at i'm at arm's length bro you know that's, that's my bubble unless you know unless unless, there's, unless, unless it's, it's all good or something you know you yeah know, you know um the the one guy i never messed with bro like i don't yeah. know i don't know uh he was my favorite mma fighter but uh, i seen him eating with this with this little girl at chronic tacos 
And it was a uh, Mauricio. Wait, 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 what'd you say? Chronic tacos? Yeah, chronic. Oh, see, Bing. Every every time we say chronic, we're gonna <laughs> ring the bell, dude. I thought you said caramel, but I was hoping you said chronic tacos. You're talking about Wee Man's spot, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah we, I've, been, I've been wanting to try yeah. that out, man. How, dude, now I'm gonna be honest with you, man. It ain't like the local taquerias that like they don't got tacos de tripas there. They don't got sesos, none of that <laughs> stuff, dude. Yeah. It's like strictly the. You know, organic. No, yeah, it's well, it's not, it's not that Am bad. Dream, but like, they got goodness. Have I died on my way to heaven? Cause I'm feeling just right. I live that purple lie. Stay perked up all night. We turned up all night. I love how it feels when I float across the sky. Looking through my third eye. I live that purple lie. Green in my pocket, all I need is purple lies. All I need is purple to have that purple. Cause I live that purple life. Check it. From the land of the lost, back to the hood. No matter where that I roll, it's all to the good. Post up like I'm making just like I should. I don't kick it with y'all haters, and that's my own hood. I'm international, player in the game, and I gain that capital. Keep on me, call me a cannibal. When you never get it, you're misunderstandable. Gotta have that purple. Can I roll me some purple? Matrix, six world, twelve six, John Money, John Doe, Purple Light, Purple Smoke, Lake the Game, Purple Up, Purple Flames, Purple Cup, Dime Pieces, Purple Hills, but nigga with purple pills, Supernova and Spaceship, Magic Carpets and Juicy Lips, Purple Room, Purple Lights, Lock that door, this Purple Light. Gotta have that purple, that purple light, that purple light. Can I roll me some purple? That purple light, that purple light. I kind of felt like they were on that, on that, I mean, like, maybe he doesn't want to get bothered with, but it was just weird, bro. Like, yeah. was, like me, you know, I, I've been starstruck a couple times. Yeah. And... And I, I do mean, you know, a couple of times. Couple times. Yeah. I, I mean, I come across people in the industry. I see we're all friends in the industry. Yeah. You know, but when you grow up to, you know, being inspired by, you know, your favorite actor or whatever. Even me, dog, I was like, <laughs> I, I busted that one, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I said like, yeah. And then, you know, later on he came back and then I was like, hey, how you doing, Mr. Washington? All right now, all right. It was Denzel. Oh, the, Denzel. Uh, yeah, yeah. That that one time. He's actually. waiting for the right moment. He's yeah. Like, he was directing, uh, uh, what's that show? Grey's Anatomy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 TV show. He was doing some directing on that one. And, and you know, but still, man, if he, si no me hubiera pelado. Yeah. You know, or anything. I mean, I, I think I would have felt even weird, Bruce, busting that <laughs> one, though. You know? Doing the conspicuous spy spy camera. <laughs> yeah, because you got to think about it. People, you know, people recognize you. They, they they love your work, your craft. So, you know, you just me personally, I just try to be humble. Hey, you, you, we just came up possible. with another invention, bro. The oh, cam the the camera hat, bro. You, you don't you don't need to even do that. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> just have a Bluetooth camera. You be looking. Uh, you guys owe us a percentage if you guys come up with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but. Well, but uh, Bye -bye. but how did the how did the West Coast mm -hmm. name get into your name? Is there another guy called Big Tokes on the East Coast, or how did that name come about? Basically, man, it, it it's a it's a high school pseudonym. Okay, you know, so you know, I was doing my thing back in the days. I was writing on walls or whatever, like a clown, you know. Until I was like, man, you know, let me write on some paper and write some lyrics, 
you know, this way. Because I used to do poetry, you know, I was, you know, little puppy love crushes, you know. Yeah. And then, you know, chilling with the homies, you know, I, I, I you know, we, we have those nicknames. So, yeah. So at first it was, it was talks. Yeah. You know, it was two talks. Yeah. Because, you know, I take two talks. And I'll be on cloud 12, my boy, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Cloud nine, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And so so it became that, man. It was two talks. And then I just figured since I was getting down lyr- lyrically, I was like, you know what? Let me let me add the big in front of it. You know what I'm saying? Big yeah. talks. All right, cool, cool. Yeah. And then I just felt like it, it was a cool, you know, little cool nickname, man. Big talks from the West Coast, you know what I mean? Because it is the West Coast. We, I'm from here. You know? Yeah. I love the West Coast. I love Cali. You know, and uh, who's some of your favorite West Coast uh, rappers, man? Number one, number one, bro, and you—you you already know. I think Pac, Pac, yeah, Pac. Yeah, yeah. all eyes on me, man, bro. That dude touched my soul, man. Like he—he he, op- he really opened up my eyes a lot. You know, as far as I, on a lot of his songs, man. He, you know, he, he really touched. You know, he's a—he's a poet himself, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. He was one of the dopest street poets I think he ever lived, man, and. Uh, his music lives on. It still lives on. I still bump Pac to this day. You know, he's my number one inspiration, man, because, you know, I feel like we share a lot of pains, you know. And I'm not just saying that between me and Pac. I'm saying Pac in the whole world. Man. Yeah. You know, a lot of people, the struggle is real right now, bro. I think you know? I think, and so, I think he expressed that, like, to perfection. I mean, any other rapper out there, the way he did it is to perfection, how he expressed the emotions and how, you know, struggles and and that yeah. sort of thing in that sort of environment. Right. He's the one. I mean, yeah, I, I agree with you, man. I Pac, agree with man. you. So going, so going from Pac to 6 9 or Trippy Red. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Damn, no, no, no. I don't know about that one, bro. I hey, they missed that. out. That's all I got to say. They missed out, man. <laughs> oh, man. They missed out. Yeah, dog. I, I agree, man. I you agree. Know? I don't know what's going on with hip-hop nowadays, man. <laughs> it's, I, I still wear 501s. I mean, I still be Chris yeah. Doe, my my dickies, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, style. Yeah, exactly. yeah. None, none of that skinny, skinny, skinny stuff. <laughs> Colored I mean, hair kind of thing. Skinny gang. None of that. Yeah, could no rainbow color Skittles. I mean, uh, yeah, saying, yeah, yeah, saying everybody's yeah. from their from their group or what or whatnot, you know. Yeah, well, it's, it's yeah. per, you, you, uh, to their to their uh, right to their benefit though. It's yeah. so easy to make a song. All you gotta yeah. do is find like one thing. on tang bro <laughs> yeah. hey, not, forget cryptocurrency bro we're, we're gonna yeah. invest in kool-aid and what's the other what's the knockoff one bro it's like wrigley uh something like that wrigley's or ralph some, some you, like you, wrigley's bro, you got you got, the, you got the ones from ralph's bro that just said that just said cherry Man. punch dude yeah. <laughs> generic flavor generic. i had to, i had to make it out of like you know candy man just it's not uh, even candy, cool. homie. It's chalk. <laughs> it's just grounded down chalk. <laughs> you know, from concentrate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But dude, those are the days. I I used to like the I used to like the punch that would come in the jug like milk, 
Yeah. And, and then it had like a ton of sugar. That's probably why I have diabetes now. Oh, man. but it had it had a ton of sugar. But dude, it was so good, man. You, could... yeah, those things were super sweet, man. Yeah, those things were super sweet. I remember. Yeah, it was all syrup, dude. Yeah, yeah, that's it was all, all syrup. It, that's all it is, man. But hey, man, I want to play a song of yours, bro. So let's get into it. Uh, let's get yeah, in one yeah. of your songs. I'm gonna ask you about this song, man, because I know. Okay, so uh, Purple Life, man. Yeah. Did you produce that one? I produced the track, yeah. Okay, so you make beats and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I produce, I engineer, you know, mix it, master, do my thing. I have a degree in uh, media production, recording arts, so. Oh, dope. I, I'm basically, you know, the dude in the audio thing, you know. I, I would say I'm a talk of all trades, bro, because I'm in front, <laughs> behind the scenes. Yeah. You know, I've done some cinematography, some film editing. I, I I pretty much I'm I'm hands on, bro. You know with everything. All the way all the way through. All right, yeah. let's cool. do this, man. Let's do it. Purple life, right here on the Sancho Local Show. You here to hear? You already know. I died on my way to heaven because I'm feeling just right. I live that purple life. Stay perked up all night. We turned up all night. I love. I gotta. I got to cut it right here. This is Last Dance on Donna Summers. But I got a very special guest in the building, man. Uh, big Tokes from the West Coast, man. You already know. You already know. I'll see. Orange County, what up? I'm in the building. What's happening? What up, man? So I'm I'm glad. Thank you for coming down, man. I'm glad to have you on, brother. Thanks, man. I it's, appreciate that, man. It's, it's good, a pleasure. Yeah, it's Thank good you. to see a Latino coming up, man, and, and doing what you've done so far. You made a lot of progress. Yes, yes. I think, you know, you, you put in the work and, you know, I, I believe your work shows for itself. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. And uh, so you got a, a bunch of uh, YouTube videos that are getting a, a lot of views. And that's kind of, you know, how I reached out to you. I said, you right. know what, man, this is this. I got to have them on because I, I think they're hilarious, man. I think you, you, I man. think the yeah, interaction, yeah. dude. Yeah, I, I believe, that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a I'm a, you know, my own worst critic, bro. So, yeah. you know, I. It's it's hard for me sometimes to even like my own stuff, man. So, but I mean, <clears throat> from the feedback and the reactions that people have, you know, thrown at us, you know, it's all positivity, it's all love. Yeah, you know, it 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 it's it's a wonderful thing, man. It's a blessing. So I even believe myself they're freaking hilarious, man. Yeah, they you are. I mean, <laughs> I I've never seen myself in that light like that. I I'm sure that when you're filming it, like the chemistry just comes like naturally because a it, lot of times it does. When, yeah like when you're with your friends you're having a good time and things just come out and you probably don't realize it at the time right but when they play give you the playback you're like that was funny man and you know we did we did everything so smoothly man everything just went well the way it did it i feel like you know it's almost divine as to how this thing came together but you know it's a lot of people think it's scripted but right. it's, it, it, you know there's some times where you know, you'll notice it's like, oh, these fools are improving on it. Right, right. You know what I mean? That's why we cut, you know, there's a lot of BS on there that, that you know, gets cut out. So we choose, you know, we get the funniest parts and whatnot. And uh, now me, you know, it's, all, it's all improvisational. Me, me Too shoots that, right? That's the name of the production company? Yeah, we started off shooting off with Me Too, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, me Too, Me Too, you know. And, uh, they, we are it, Me Too. Uh, we are, okay, and, and they can find those videos if they just type in uh, Cholos Try. Cholos Try, dog. Hashtag. hashtag you know what I'm saying? Cholos try or just yeah, you know, that's that's the main search, you know what I mean? And Cholos then try. um and then what were you doing before Cholos try? Um I've always been doing my thing, man, as far as the music is in, is concerned in yeah. my life. I'm very musically inclined. So uh before that I was doing my music, man. But you know, it's not not just that, I, I kind of stumbled into the acting game. Really? You know, I, it, it's hard for me to explain. I wouldn't say stumble, man, because I've done you know some plays back in high school. Yeah, so you know you're always I mean? on the grind. Yeah, and I shot on Intocable's video back in high school. So that was my only time I did extra stuff. And, you know, that's when I picked up act I, I guess you can say I picked up the acting book. But after high school, I just didn't pursue the acting gig like that. You know what I mean? It was my music thing. And then after a minute, I just came across somebody that told me, what's up? You know, showed me the ropes. And, hey, you know, you got to go here. You got to go here. And then I just started hitting up the sets, man, and then doing and background work. And you know what I think is cool, bro? In all honesty, man, because I, I know how it is for people to pigeonhole like Cholos or Chicanos into one thing, but there's a lot of talented Chicano brothers out there that are doing their thing, man. Like I had a, a lot. Yeah. 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 I had a few. Like I know. Um, we're very I, underrated, I would say. Yeah and, and, yeah. and that's being real, bro. Like we are, but we're so, but people don't realize we're just as talented as everybody else just society looks at us different you know what i mean yeah but like i have a lot of friends like uh 
I have a, a couple actors, uh, Wilson, Antonio Ramirez, yeah, uh, yeah, An no, Anthony yeah. Citric Campos. Yeah, yeah, homies are all homies of mine, man. Yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. we have the same homies probably. Yeah, yeah, mutual homies. Yeah. Uh, Ronan Gray. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And and those guys are doing little acting gigs and they're, you know, get, paving their way into the industry. Right. You know what I mean? So right. it makes me proud to know that, like, people, it's like a, a diamond in the dirt, man. They're, they're just coming out of East L.A. They're coming out of Compton. They're coming out of Watts. Right. And they're getting these acting gigs in these million-dollar films. Yeah, yeah. And, like, that's the same story with you, bro. You were making music before. Yeah. And now you're doing the Cholos Try thing, yeah, which yeah. is gaining a lot of traction, man. So yeah. so props to you, brother. Oh, thank you, brother. That, I appreciate that. Gracias. That, yeah, that's, that's really dope, thank man. Thank you. Thank you. And so thank you. is there something, like, is, was there ever a situation on Cholos Try where that you know you were like, nah, I'm not doing this, man. Nah, you know, I I never really ranked that out on anything, bro. <laughs> yeah, I was always with it, man. You know, I, I'm, you know, you, you're grown into this mentality, bro, in the neighborhood where they want you to get stuck. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, when one opens up their minds and you know you're open to new things, it's like, man, you want to try it. You, yeah, you get. Yeah, adventurous, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. As, as opposed to nah, I'm good. You know, now nah, there I don't think there was ever one thing, man, that uh, you know, anything has been presented to me as far as like, you know, with this whole Cholo Stride thing that's been like, oh, I'm not gonna do it. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I would say the the feet massage, but other than <laughs> uh, the nah, but, but other than that, I just you know, I have a thing with that. I mean, I would say that's the only thing. Yeah, man, there's there's a there's times where people are like, dude. You know, you shouldn't be going into a, a manicure place or a pit, but all you're really doing is cleaning your feet, man, at the yeah. end of the day. You know what I mean? But yeah, I, I'm like, I, I got that that Kevin Hart thing, man. I don't know <laughs> if you guys follow him or, you know. Yeah, I know. You know I follow Kevin. You know, he has an insecurity about his feet. Oh, uh, does he? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He'll, yeah. say, it, he'll say it on a stand-up, and, and I'm like, oh, damn. Me too. <laughs> so I'm like, hold on, dog. Like, I just, <laughs> you know, yeah. I don't even like, nah, I don't. I don't. So that's that kind of, you know. Now that prevented me from that. That's kind of the same thing with chicks, though, right? Like the first thing that a dude looks at when he's looking at hyenas or girls or whatever, you look at their feet, bro. Like you know, some of them look like you know a shed, a painted shed. You know what I mean? Like you, you gotta, you gotta, dude, you gotta take care of your feet <laughs> first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. up. Yeah, it's part like of some claws. Yeah. You know, seriously, dude. Like, like that's like a sales pitch, bro. If the, if the toes aren't yeah. right, dude, I'm not moving to step number two. You know, you start at the toes, man. My boy, that's like that's like buying a vehicle, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, yeah. you're gonna you're gonna buy a used car with, you know, it's got. It's a little carcanchita, like yeah. dance or whatever, you know, the engine. Like, you know, it's like, you know, like a car, man. Yeah. You want to get you a nice, clean car. You want to hook it up here and there, you know what I mean? So you bro, I, th that. I think chicks, bro, tell me, tell, we, we got to invent something together. But I think chicks should come with like a Carfax. You know what I mean? Like, bro, how many how many bruised toenails you got right there? Oh, you know, <laughs> man, if only it was possible, man. And I wouldn't doubt y'all, man. I wouldn't doubt y'all that somebody's gonna pop out with that real soon. <laughs> Seriously, like a <laughs> human human Carfax, dude. How many guys have you dated? You know, they're lying to me, man. Three guys. It's like J. Cole says, man. You know, she says she dated about two, three, or four or five dudes. You know, you gotta multiply that by three. You know? Damn. <laughs> Seriously, yes. man. You never know. I'm sure yeah, you meet man. a lot of chicks, dude, on the road with the Cholas Try thing. Well, you know. Uh, yes, I would say yes and no, man. Just to keep it truthfully honest, you know, yeah. I try to. I, I'm very exclusive, bro. You know what I mean? Oh, so, okay. Oh, so, yeah. No disrespect to the old lady, man. No, no, no. I didn't <laughs> even like that. It's just that you know, uh, whenever I go out to these events or whatnot, yeah, you know, when we're all out there or whatever, yeah, you know, we we do get people hitting us up like, hey, what's up? We love what y'all do. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Can yeah. we take a picture? Can we get an autograph? And and you know, we we don't want to disappoint. So yeah. You know what I mean? We don't want to disappoint our fans, so you know we show all the love back. You know. You ever see like those videos on the internet with like uh, Ti or something, and and the, and they're just like they got these fans. Like there's one recently. I don't know if you guys seen this one it's where like bad. some guy was like leaning on his hood. It was a fan. Yeah, yeah. And he got pissed off at him, bro. He's like, "Get away from me! I don't want to sign your autograph." And, what was that Ti? Ti? Like, did, didn't he get locked up recently or something? Something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, something about that. Yeah. 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 I, I don't know. That was Ti. Yeah. 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 So he was, he was pumping gas. And some dude was like, hey, let me get a picture. And he's like, nah, homie. Like, he's like, I, I gave you the picture. Like, get off my car. And I was just like, wow, dude. Like, yeah. from a fan's perspective, that's that like would, would crush me if I was a fan of TI. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't know yeah. if I'd like him after that, honestly. Yeah. Well, you gotta, you gotta, you know, there's always two sides to a story, man. True. It's, it's always a double-edged sword when you're in that position, bro. Yeah. You know, so I, 
you know, the, the fan could have been a crazy, you know, little lunatic that just happened to know who's T.I. And, you know what I'm saying? It's just one of those, dog, you know. And, hey, and they only got three seconds of it. So all we see is those three seconds. That's you know true, what I'm man. Saying? You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I haven't personally seen the video. But I would just think that, you know, in that position, if somebody's leaning up against yeah. you, even me, bro, I got, you know what I'm saying? Whatever I'm rolling on, from yeah, point you, A to point B, if you're leaning on my on my, my, on my car or whatever, and, like, I'm like, I don't know you, like, what's up? Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Like, it, You might yeah. catch you wrong. Yeah, hey, you know, hey, can I get a picture? Like, how you going to lean on my car and be like, hey, can I get a picture? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, hey. It's, yeah, you might end up with some, like, elbow dents or something. Yeah, we could chunk yeah. up the deuces, throw up the dub, <laughs> worldwide, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And, and then, you know, go with that. You know, don't put my vehicle out there like that or, you know. Yeah, man. You know, don't. There's a certain bubble, bro. Yeah. You know like a saying? five five foot bubble, dude. Yeah, like you got five feet to take a picture. Anything closer, you either have to buy me dinner or no, I was kidding. Yeah, bro. You yeah. know, I'm at I'm at arm's length, bro. You know, that's that's my bubble unless you know unless unless there's unless it's, it's all good or something. You know, you yeah. Know, you know, um, the the one guy I never messed with, bro. Like I don't good. know, I don't know. Uh, he was my favorite MMA fighter, but all I right. seen him eating with this with this little girl at Chronic Tacos. And it was a uh, Mauricio. Wait, 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 what'd you say? Chronic tacos? Yeah, chron- I'll see you. Oh, yeah, chronic. <laughs> Bing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bing. <laughs> That's the, every every time we say chronic, we're gonna <laughs> ring the bell, dude. I, I thought you said caramel, but I was hoping you said chronic tacos. That's about we man spot, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah we, I've, been, I've been wanting to try yeah. that out, man. How- dude, now I'm gonna be honest with you, man. It ain't like the local taquerias that like they don't got tacos de tripas there. They don't got sesos, none of that <laughs> stuff, dude. Yeah. It's like strictly the. You know, organic. No, yeah, that's, well, that's it's, not, it's not that bad. <laughs> but like, they got carne asada, they got chicken. It's a little greasy, but it's it's just you know, it's, it's good food. It's yeah. as long as there's meat and salsa, you're good, bro. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So yeah, yeah. So, so he was he was chilling there. He Chet, was... Yeah. So he was there eating with his daughter. Uh-huh. And then uh, it's funny, man, because I was walking up getting my food, and I was like, man, I want to ask him for an autograph. And uh, he just gave me one look, bro. And as soon as he gave me the look, I was like, nah, never mind. Wait, who was this again? Mauricio Shogun Ruin. Oh, you're talking about the MMA fighter. The, the MMA fighter, fighter. yeah, All dude. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Damn, he gave you the stink eye? Yeah, he was like, and the, fu- <laughs> the Fuchi face, The Fuchi face, Damn. dude. And I, and I was like, I ain't doing it, bro, because, you know. <laughs> you don't want to mess with it, especially when his daughter's right there. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I was like, like I, don't, no. I don't know kung fu, but I know crazy, you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, dog, that fuchi, if he gave you that stink eye, dog, like, no, no, no kind of, like, Hey, authority, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't step uh-huh. my boundaries just like that. Though. Like, he was very prideful at that moment, I'm sure. Yeah, that yeah. was that was power, bro. Like, yeah. when you're when you able to look at somebody and uh, back them up, man, that was power, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, but um, but, how, there you, but there you go again. That 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 edge store, like, I guess you did the right, made the right decision because you know, you're your respect, you know, what I'm oh, saying? yeah, and, and yeah. it isn't like you're not on a trip, like, a fuerzas. <laughs> However, you gotta go holler at him and get his autograph and picture. Like, nah, like respect to that just took off. Like, you know, I didn't want to do that, bro, because I didn't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to. Like, pretty I, sure he didn't want to get bothered with. I, yeah, and I, I knew he had his daughter there, yeah. and I was like, you know, I got, I got kids. I know what it's like to be out there, and and I wouldn't want to just a random dude coming up when I mean with my there's, kids. There's yeah. people, there's people out there that don't have no common sense, man. And you know what, they bro? Just, you know? Yeah, yeah, you're right about that. And and let me add a little bit to that, man. I'm, you know, we're we're, we're very well known. You know what I mean? So, so sometimes you know, I have that that, you know, people sometimes they'll see me in public and they'll be like, you know, I I see him give me this look, like damn. It's, I recognize him from somewhere. Yeah. Like one time I was at Knott's, bro. I was chilling with my girl, you know, and I, the people, there was these people that recognized me. So they seen that I was with my chick on this ride. Yeah. So they, you know, waiting in line. So they didn't want to really like bother, you know what I'm saying? So they busted this weird one, bro, where they got the little. <laughs> you know oh, no. <laughs> like low <laughs> key, dude. Yeah, low key. Got... <laughs> and it was a video, bro, because I seen the little, when they went like that. <laughs> you hear the little yeah. ding, ding, you know yeah, I recognize dude. the little. And I was like, God damn, that, that's kind of weird, bro. Like, you yeah, know, I heard at that point. Huh? Yeah, bro. I was like, man, I wish they would have just hit me up for the picture. Be like, that, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of <laughs> weird. But I kind of felt like they were on that, on that. I mean, like maybe he doesn't want to get bothered with. But it was just weird, bro. Like, yeah. Was, like me, you know, I, I've been starstruck a couple times. Yeah. And and I, I do mean, you know, a couple times. Couple times. Yeah. I, I mean, I come across people in the industry. I see we're all friends in the industry. Yeah. You know, but when you grow up to, you know, being inspired by, you know, your favorite actor or whatever, even me, dog, I was like, 
<laughs> I, I busted that one, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like, yeah, and then, you know, later on, he came back, and then I was like, hey, how you doing, Mr. Washington? All right now, all right? It was Denzel. Oh, was Denzel. Oh, yeah, yeah, that, that one time. He's I, waiting for the right moment. He's yeah, like, he was yeah. directing, uh, uh, what's that show, Grey's Anatomy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The TV show, he was doing some directing on that one, and, and you know, but still, man, if he, si no me hubiera pelado, yeah. you know, or anything... I mean, I, I think I would have felt even weird Bruce busting that one, though. You know? Doing the conspicuous spy spy camera. Yeah, because you got to think about it. People, you know, people recognize you. They, they they love your work, your craft. So, you know, you just me personally, I just try to be humble. Hey, you, you, we just came up with another invention, bro. The, cam, the, the camera hat, bro. You, you, don't, you don't need to even do that. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> just have a Bluetooth camera. You'd be looking. Hey, you guys owe us a percentage if you guys come up with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but. But uh, Love but that. how did the how did the West Coast mm -hmm. name get into your name? Is there another guy called Big Tokes on the East Coast, or how did that name come about? Basically, man, it, it it's a it's a high school pseudonym. Okay, you know, so you know, I was doing my thing back in the days. I was writing on walls or whatever, like a clown, you know. Until I was like, man, you know, let me write on some paper and write some lyrics. You know, this way, because I used to do poetry, you know, I was, you know, little puppy love crushes, you know. Yeah. And then, you know, chilling with the homies, you know, I, I, I you know, we, we have those nicknames. So, yeah. So at first it was it was talks. Yeah. You know, it was two talks. Yeah. Because, you know, I take two talks and I'll be on cloud 12. My boy, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cloud nine. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And so so it became that, man, it was two talks. And then I just figured since I was getting down lyrically. Lyrically, I was like, you know what? Let me, let me add the big in front of it. You know what I'm saying? Big yeah. talks. All right, cool, cool. Yeah. And then I just felt like it. It was a cool, you know, little, cool nickname, man. Big talks from the West Coast. You know what I mean? Because it is the West Coast. We, I'm from here. You know? Yeah. I love the West Coast. I love Cali. You know, and uh, who's some of your favorite West Coast uh, rappers, man? Number one, number one, bro. And you, you already know. I think Pac. Pac, yeah, yeah, yeah. all eyes on me, man, bro. That dude touched my soul, man. Like he, he, op he really opened up my eyes a lot. You know, as far as I, on a lot of his songs, man. He, you know, he, he really touched. You know, he's a he's a poet himself, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was one of the dopest street poets I think he ever lived, man. And uh, his music lives on; it still lives on. I still bump Pac to this day. You know, he's my number one inspiration, man, because, you know, I feel like we share a lot of pains, you know. And I'm not just saying that between me and Pac. I'm saying Pac and the whole world. Man. Yeah. You know, a lot of people, the struggle is real right now, bro. I think I, th and so, I think he expressed that, like, to perfection. I mean, any other rapper out there, the way he did it is to perfection, how he expressed the emotions and how, you know, struggles and and. That yeah. sort of thing in that sort of environment, right? He's the one. I mean, yeah, I, Pac, I agree with you, man. I Pac, agree with man. you. So Pac. going, so going from Pac to Six Nine or Trippy Red. Oh, oh no, hey, <laughs> no, no, no! I don't know about that one, bro. I hey, they missed that. out. That's all I gotta say. They missed out, man. Oh man, they missed out. Yeah, dog. I, I agree, man. I you agree. Know? I don't know what's going on with hip hop nowadays, man. <laughs> it's I, I still wear five hundred one. So I mean, I still be Chris yeah. my my dickies you know what i mean uh, yeah style yeah, exactly. yeah none, none of that skinny 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 stuff <laughs> colored I mean, hair kind of thing. skinny gang none of that yeah could no rainbow color skittles i mean uh, yeah, saying, dude. yeah saying everybody's from their from their group or what or whatnot you know yeah, well it's, it's yeah. pretty you, you, uh, to their to their uh to their benefit though it's so yeah. easy to make a song all you gotta yeah. do is find like one thing and you just like Homogenized milk. Homogenized milk. Oh, you just yeah. say it. <laughs> Morgan salt. It's the best I've ever tasted. <laughs> With a little bit of salt and pepper. You know what I'm saying? You, do, you could basically now do, you know, give give recipes on a verse, bro. And like, this is how you cook it. You bake it in the oven for 150 degrees. <laughs> Seriously, bro. <laughs> dude. It's on isn't fire. It, isn't know? that funny, though, dude? Uh, whip it up. Flag it. You know? And, and you know, but... A lot of it has to do with with the digital world, bro. Yeah, that but, messed up everything, didn't it? I yeah, mean, it, did. I, it either it did or it didn't, man. I still don't know, man, because you know you're supposed to. The technology is either gonna make us or break us, man. It, it all depends on how we, you know, advance with it and use it, and you know, because it's so so simple now to touch 
you know, keys on a on an iPad, and you know, everybody. Oh, I made a beat, fifteen minutes, ten minutes. Oh, that's my, that's the yeah, fire. Yeah. And see, the thing is, man, one thing about business that people gotta understand, you know, because of the music that it is right now, is that the industry is gonna touch on the, you know, generations between the age group of eighteen and twenty four. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying that's the yeah. that's the that's the main industry standard age group, you know, for rap. Right, you know, right now that the industry wants to target, and I, and they've always targeted that age group actually. Yeah, you know what I mean. And, I think because um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So so it's whatever you know the the youngsters like nowadays that's from that age group that, you know, they like all these skinny jeans. They like all this you know Kool Aid colored hair. Yeah, you know I mean, mean, cool for Kool Aid. Kool Aid stocks are going up, man. I think I might invest in Kool Aid <laughs> stocks. Bro, <laughs> you, you know what I mean? That sound like a bad idea, man. You know what I'm saying? Bring back Kool Aid. Bring back Kool Aid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Kool Aid. Yeah, they need. No. He needs to come out with a song ten, like ten percent on Tang, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not, forget cryptocurrency, bro. We're we're gonna <laughs> yeah. invest in Kool Aid. And what's the other? What's a knockoff one, bro? It's like Wrigley, uh, something like that. Wrigley's or Rally, some something you, like you, that. Wrigley's, bro. You got you got you got the ones from Ralph's, bro. That just said. That just said cherry yeah. punch, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Generic flavor. Generic. I had to, I had to make it out of like you know candy, man. Just uh, it's not even candy, cool. homie. Mean, it's chalk. <laughs> it's just grounded down chalk. <laughs> you know, from concentrate. Yeah. <laughs> but dude, those are the days. I I used to like the I used to like the punch that would come in the jug like milk. Yeah. And, and then it had like a ton of sugar. That's probably why I have diabetes now. <sighs> oh, but dude. it had it had a ton of sugar. But dude, it was so good, man. You could... Yeah, those things were super sweet, man. Yeah. Those things were super sweet. I remember, yeah. It was all syrup, dude. Yeah, yeah. That's it was all, all syrup. It, that's all it is, man. But hey, man, I want to play a song of yours, bro. So let's get into it. Uh, let's right, get yeah, in one yeah. of your songs. I'm going to ask you about this song, man, because I know. All right. Okay, so uh, Purple Life, man. Yeah. Did you produce that one? I produced the track, yeah. Okay, so you make beats and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I produce, I engineer, you know, mix and master, do my thing. I have a degree in uh, media production, recording arts, so. Oh, dope. I'm basically, you know, the dude in the audio thing, you know. I, I would say I'm a talks of all trades, bro, because I'm in front, <laughs> behind the scenes. Yeah. You know, I've done some cinematography, some film editing. I I, I pretty much am, am hands-on, bro, you know, with everything. All, all, the, way, all the way through. All right, yeah. let's cool. do this, man. Let's do it. Purple Life, right here on the Sancho Loco Show. You here to hear? You already know. I died on my way to heaven because I'm feeling just right. I live that purple life, stay perked up all night, we turned up all night.